Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. We are looking with me in 2007 Toyota Tacoma two-wheel drive and this one is in my shop because the customer has a complaint. The complaint is that when driving over 50 or 60 the steering wheel shakes violently and something needs to be done about it. Customer stated that all tires, right, and the rims were balanced in the case the weight was missing or something, but the problem continues. So I started immediately with a test drive, right, confirming if that problem is really there. And it doesn't start at 50. You can slowly start it coming right as you start driving 20 30 40 it just gets crazy at the 50 and 60 miles per hour on certain passages on the road the steering wheel was really shaking a lot well i was told the tires were balanced right the shop took them off so hopefully they look also on the rims right that the rims are not deformed and apparently they rebalance it it didn't help right so first thing i was spinning the tires when they were still on the vehicle and i definitely saw on this side right the tire which was here was kind of when spun it was kind of whoop 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 going up and down so i will of course immediately go ahead rotate them of course i check the tire pressures right and then i went through entire suspension steering you are looking if the brakes are not dragging right if the wheel bearings when the wheels are still on if there's no play in the wheel bearings you check upper arms lower arms all the bushings all the ball joints tire rod ends right you are looking for some kind of play right in the system the struts right if there's no broken spring or something nothing really caught any of my attention everything seems to be solid and good these trucks had that recall for the rear leaf springs so i was also looking on that right if i don't have a broken rear leaf spring but if i'm correct these springs means they were replaced already right it looks like it was replaced on both sides because don't forget right even the rear can affect the front so both of them looks replaced however this one is kind of loose and maybe deformed let me show you what i mean with it and of course i'm trying to consider everything what possibly could cause that right the previous tire shops gave up on it and they said well we can't find anything the tires are great so pff, sorry so here we are on the passenger rear side right and this I will demonstrate that rear spring it's completely loose it keeps bouncing up and down on both sides why I'm saying something's wrong with it and it's worn number one the other side doesn't do it number two this side when we will drop the truck it's actually the clearance of the truck it's lower we will go back to that now let's check the tire right i said i move this one from the front to the back because i think it has a bump in in, in it right it's a high and low so i just what i try to do i don't have a tire machine here i'm not a tire shop so i try to focus on some spot behind the tire right while i rotate it and see if it's bouncing if it's going up and down my opinion this one does right, i see some kind of up and down is it much oh i don't say there is a huge bubble in it but i think it travels up and down we will see and i'm hoping that that rotation will help right because i cannot see anything on the suspension steering every single component is tight right there's no play in it just looking by the eye the front wheel seem to be perfectly straight right with the steering exactly in that straight position so i don't think of course that's just a by the eye 
that alignment is the cause of this problem. A little bit stressing out about it because the customer didn't hire me to look at it for one hour, right, and pay me for that. No, they said, hey, we will pay you to tell us what's wrong with it. Previous people couldn't say that. Now I'm trying to beat them and find the problem. So tires are rotated, correct pressures, everything checked out. Let's drop it down. I will show you the difference in the rear, right, in the measure, and we will go on the strap, see if the problem is still there. Always pay attention when you are installing these. They are expensive. You don't want to lose them. And guess what? When it came here, two of them were correctly in the place and two of them were pushed on only halfway and they were going to fall off. Now this is perfect. Back to that rear suspension, right? And why I accused that leaf spring of being weak. So this is a, one of the problems, but I hopped on it because it was on the lift. I wanted the rear seated. Now we will measure the each side. Now I didn't see any modification or customization right on this truck. So we are here through the center of the wheel. We are here 36 and a half inches. Right? Let's go on the other one. And this is with the tires rotated through the center. 36 and one quarter actually. So I said it was half inch. It's only quarter inch after I moved the tires. So the difference is smaller right now. And let's hope for some positive results from that, right? So I can have a time and work on that Scion. You guys keep commenting, want to see more their body work. So hopefully we will be done with this very soon. By the way, this one has that V6, right? 1G RFE. And I can show you sample of how it looks when we were at the dealer and we spotted timing chain cover oil leak. There was a recall on it, right? I believe this is what's happening right here. It's a not valve cover, but there is actually timing chain cover oil leak on this engine. I believe I mentioned this is two wheel drive version, right, of this taco. And I didn't mention it has 137,000 miles on the odometer. We are almost there at my test drive area, so let's see. I'm obviously going to use the same road like I did yesterday evening when the truck was dropped off, right? All right, let's get away from other vehicles. I have 30, now there are pumps. Now let's go. At 50 it was shaking basically crazily right the steering was shaking like a maniac look at it and it was pulling to the right crazily to the right I'm 60 already look at it oh, the steering is not shaking at all that was 60 right they said 60 or 65 I'm not holding it right I'm not holding it look at this so how come the tire shop who's aligning i mean putting the weights right on the tires how come they cannot see there is a slight imperfection of the surface of the tire i don't know but i'm happy i can get paid sure can i always say alignment you know recommended absolutely Absolutely. I don't think this taco has a zeros in front. I think it might need a little adjustment. But this steering wheel, guys, yesterday, right here, right, I was driving. Look at it, it's 60. It was shaking that you will be afraid that it will break your finger or something. Look at it. Nothing, right? I'm not touching it. This is wonderful. There's wind coming from there, so it's pushing me slightly to the left. 
I have to correct the truck right but if you look at it right there's no shake I'm going 60 it was 65 right this is where all of us it gets crazy so just very little correction by the hand obviously the road it's not absolutely perfect but there's zero shake thank you for crossing fingers for me it helped there is one bad tire right which is right now in the back and that was causing that violent shaking i'm sorry i didn't film it yesterday but it was doing this basically right like this it was crazy like that when i went over the 50 basically okay heading back i just turn around so again beautiful v6 right taco just absolutely fantastic right the wind is hitting us it's uh, like 20 miles per hour so it's pulling to the right slightly but the shake right when i let go when i let go i don't know how much you can see it it's absolutely zero shake on that steering so there was imperfection in the tire it was there and that that was doing this it was even faster right i cannot do it for you but that's how it was shaking perfect Thank you for being with me and bringing me luck. So that was great news on the test drive, right? The truck is driving perfectly straight. There was a strong wind coming from one side, so it was slightly pulling, but I will definitely put in the comments that I recommend the alignment, right, for that vehicle, which should be easy. It's two wheel drive, right? Just the front and it should make it perfect now another good news is i can start working on this right you guys are requesting it on the channel so let's do it unless they will recommend i mean they will approve right the rear brake shoes were thin between one and two millimeters so i put it in the comments maybe they say oh can you just do it today we'll see uh, either way i might film or will film definitely this or I might feel even these rear brake shoes. Thank you for watching and be subscribed so you don't miss any of these. And thank you for bringing me the good luck on that test drive. That was awesome. See you later, my friend.